our low and high cam tables. We're going to have our uh, low and high cam uh, fuel tables as well. So we can see it's designated here, table, fuel, low speed, fuel, high speed. So it's going to tell us which one we're on. So the low speed is going to be associated with the non-VTEC operation. Our high speed is when we're on the VTEC or the high cam. So again, we're going to have two different sets of uh, fuel demands on our engine. So if we see on our low cam and the fuel values, and then we look at the same point here in our high cam, we can see our values are probably 30 to 40% higher. And that's because we're increasing our exhaust scavenging effect by uh, switching over to the higher profile. We're increasing the lift. We're increasing our volumetric efficiency and our air mass air under engine. So we're going to have to characterize this by adding additional fuel. So we have a low cam and a high cam table. And that's going to help us account for both set of conditions uh, for VTEC on or VTEC off. Now, K-series engines, uh, if you're using a K-series with a, a, a K-Pro, so we're not using an S2000 or a D17 engine, we're going to have this variable cam function, and that's going to allow us to have a rotation of our intake cam, uh, and it's going to allow us to change our exhaust scavenging effects and our dynamic compression based on the rotation of the cam. So this is going to be the intake cam only, so the values in this tables will be from zero to positive values of around 50 degrees uh, of total advance of rotation. So um, we're going to have the same uh, low cam cam angle table and a high cam cam angle table if we're tuning on a K-series specific engine with our K-Pro. So uh, in addition to having a low and high cam fuel and spark timing tables, we're also going to have this menu up here that's going to be associated with different cam angle amounts. So uh, depending on what we set in our table here, if we set this table to all zeros on our low speed table, we're only going to be utilizing this zero degree uh, low speed table here because it's set on zero degrees and our low cam spark timing table set on zero degrees. But if we go and change this on our low speed cam angle table to something like 10 degrees of advance, we're requesting the intake cam to advance 10 degrees. If we go back to our table here, again our fuel low speed, we're going to have to go and look at our 10 degree command and angle. And that's going to have a completely different fuel map and a completely different spark map. 